happy Wednesday. We are officially one week into Soaring to Superstar, and it's been so much fun to see you guys embracing this program and diving into the homework and doing things that are different than you normally do to get results that you haven't ever had before. So, I'm so excited about it. The the ones who I'm friends with on Facebook, I've seen you sharing product and how you use it in your own life. Um, I hope you've been reaching out and building relationships. And then like a Nick talked about yesterday, working to grow your business by 33% and some ways to do that. I'm so excited. There is so much in this program that you can take and use to better your business. So great job, everyone. Today, we are going to be talking about something really hard or can be really hard and um and busting through it and breaking through it so that is the word no we're going to talk about the word no and we are going to challenge you to go for some no's um and if you haven't noticed this week's been a little bit more focused on growing your team and that is why that is because you need to, to grow your front line, to grow your teams wide, and to teach your front line to do the same, to promote, um, to earn trips, to make more money in your businesses, to reach those goals that we all wrote down to make that money, that dollar impact that we talked about on the first day of this program. So we're hoping to give you the tools and tricks to do that. Now, I have a question for you guys. How many of you, and put it in the comments below because I'm super curious, how many of you would have joined Sensi if nobody ever asked you? Put in that in the comments. And how many of you were asked to join Sensi or were introduced to Sensi and told that person no the first time? Maybe even the second time, maybe even the third time. I would venture to say that not everyone, because some people say yes the first time, some people decide on their own that they want to join, but I would guess that the majority of us were asked by someone to join, and that is why we joined. So that gets down to the brass tacks of today. We have to ask the question and be ready for the word no in order to get our yeses in order to get our teammates we have to ask people and we have to ask a lot of people and no being told no isn't necessarily always a bad thing so we're gonna work today on shifting our mindset about the word no and why maybe we even maybe we can identify why we have hang-ups with the word no if we do maybe we don't some of us might not um, but many of us do, and it is something that I think we'll find we learned and we can unlearn. <laughs> so if you think about it, like think about this, how many of you guys have kids? Lots of you guys have kids. They aren't afraid of the word no. At least I know my kiddo's not. So he will ask for candy, and if I say no, in about 10 minutes he asks again, and if I say no then, in about... 20 minutes, he asks again, right? They're not afraid of the word no. So how along the way do we develop this idea that no is a personal attack? Because it isn't. No doesn't have anything to do with you. If they say no to joining their Sensi business, if you ask them if they want to start their own Sensi journey and they tell you no, it doesn't have anything to do with you. It is something that's going on with them. Maybe it's not the right time for them. Maybe they don't know enough information. Um, maybe they've heard horror stories from other people and they're projecting that. All that's all on them. It's not on you. So there should that should remove all all fear from asking. Now, that doesn't mean it's always easy. I'm I don't love hearing no, but I have learned that it doesn't. Um, make you bleed, <laughs> that it doesn't hurt, that no, um, it, if you are, if you handle it the right way, it can be a really beautiful thing. And by handle it the right way, I just mean like, say you ask somebody to join your Sensi team and they say, no, nope, that kind of thing's just not really for me. And then you say, okay, well, you're so friendly. I just thought you'd be good at it. And you're giving them a genuine compliment. They're going to feel great about themselves, and you've got to feel great about the ask, right? So it, it's asking as a compliment, 
um, and and really being genuine about it, it can it, it's fine. So <laughs> the next thing to think about when asking someone, if you're really afraid of the word no, and you really want to break through that that fear of, oh my gosh, what if they tell me no? Um, is what's the worst case scenario? What's the worst possible thing that can happen if I ask someone to join my Sensi team? Probably no is the worst possible case, and I think you can handle that. We can all handle that. We've all been told no. We tell people no. If you think about it, like if you go to Target and they ask you if you want to join that 1% circle thing, and you say, no, thank you, or if you want to open a credit card and you say, no, thank you, then they just ask the next person and there isn't any hard feelings. Or if you're at a restaurant, this classic example, and the waitress asks you if you want more coffee and you say, no, thank you, it doesn't mean that you don't like the waitress or you don't like coffee. It just means you don't want any right now. And so thinking of that in terms of when we're asking people if they want to host a party or have ever thought about starting their own Sensi journey, if they say no or no thank you, it doesn't necess it doesn't mean anything except for not right now. And I promise you, keep track of your no's and the people that you ask and those people who you're building relationships with because sometimes they turn into yeses with um, continued follow-up and relationship building. So no's are often just mean not right now, actually. So with that, I want to kind of flip the script slightly um, and say, sometimes there is a fear of a yes, actually. So there's a fear of if I ask this person and they decide to join my team and they say yes, then what do I do? I've been so worked up about what if they say no that I don't know what to do if they say yes. Well, I'm here to tell you that we are here to help you and support you along the way when they do say yes, and that the workstation has lots of tips and tools. Um, your upline, your, your directors, superstar directors have tools to support you. So um, be excited when they say yes, and know that even if you don't know how to help, the, help them in the next steps, we will help you help them in the next steps, and just ensuring that it's, it's a team effort from the question all the way through. So don't be afraid of the no's or the yeses when you're sharing the joint opportunity. There is no such thing as um, ready. Um, there's no such thing as knowing enough to sponsor. There's, there's the time is now. We all learn as we go. Um, we all learn together. And, and so if you wait until you're prepared, you might not ever be fully prepared. Um, and so start asking, start asking now, ask often. It does get easier. The more you practice it like anything else, it gets easier. The more you're told no, the easier it gets to know how to respond or know what to say. And it's just one of those things that you have to start asking and detach from that outcome. Guys, remember, Sensi is amazing. Our team is amazing. It's so much fun. They're missing out. So detach from having any hurt feelings if, if it is a no. And if it is and you do really need that support, if it hurt a little, feel free to reach out to one of us. Um, we've probably been through something similar and would be happy to kind of help lift you back up through it. So um, detach from the outcome. Start asking. Uh, it will get easier. And, um, I had a thought, but then I lost it. It was along those lines of starting to ask. And it might come back to me if it does, I'll let you know. So with that, that brings us to our, um, our homework to the day for the day. And it, it piggybacks on um, kind of what we've been doing, the relationship building, the list of 100, all this ties together. So what you're going to do is you're going to develop a hit list, say 35 people who you would love to join your Sensi team, people who you think would be great. Maybe they're hostesses, maybe they're family members. I know Nicole talked about doing Sensi with her family. I've got family on my team, really close friends, um, people you went to high school with, people who you work with. Um, no pre-judging who you think 
might want to do it because you just never know. Think of the most fun people who you know and put those on your hit list. Think of the successful people and the organized people and the stay-at-home moms and the call high school grad, college students, whatever. Pull from your list and that's going to be your hit list of people who you're going to target. Then we have this go for the no weekly worksheet, which we're going to upload. And it has 35 squares and you are just going to work on crossing off these squares. Now, it doesn't have to be, there's like things in here like, no way, Jose. That's just to remind you to have fun with it. And somebody doesn't have to actually say, no way, Jose, for you to check that off, right? But as you ask and you hear back, you're going to start checking off and you're going to go for these no's, okay? And you're going to start listening for responses and listening for cues and learning. And all of this is going to help you be a better team builder uh, and help you reach your goals of growing your front line, doubling your front line like Katie Farner talked about, and growing your team. So we're going to print this off. We're going to go for these no's. We're going to start asking. We can ask in the form of text message. We can ask in copying and pasting in um, private message. Again, it's important to kind of have those relationships built first and that is going to be helpful. That's why we're working on building relationships with the people who we're friends with on social media, right? We can ask in person, whatever is most comfortable for you. Any of those count, just like on all of our, our other things. So, um, and this kind of, This will just kind of help you through it. This has a lot of little notes about how you can put a star if they're not a hard no. Like maybe they're a maybe and they want to think about it. Keep track of all of that, you guys, okay? This is going to help you. This is a challenge for sure to find these people to ask. But the more people you ask, the more you're going to find people who join. And if you want to know what to say, um, maybe just saying something like, you, starting with a compliment is always a good idea. Like, hi, I noticed you have so many friends. Have you ever start, thought of making money by doing a business like Sensi part-time? I don't know. Something like that. And then just letting them kind of talk. Not giving too much information up front is always good. That can kind of come in later as the conversation gets going. But getting those conversations started, that's our homework for the week. We're going to knock out this 35 no's. I think there's 35 no's or 30 no's and five yeses. So get to asking, go in for the no. Okay. That's part two. So number one, hit list. Number two, go for the go. Then you're going to print out the annual mentor tracker. So if you aren't aware, the annual mentor award is one of two annual awards that Sensi gives out. The annual mentor, the since the calendar starts in May and goes to the end of April. And if you sponsor 14 consultants, 14 frontline consultants who reach certified in that calendar year, you earn the annual mentor award and you get paid extra money, bonus money for every single one of those consultants. So um, it's a great goal to have, great thing to go for. We're obviously in January, but print it off for this calendar year and see how far you can get until May and then print off another one from May until next April and then you've got the full year to work on that. So print out those so you can start tracking that. Um, and remember, all of this that you're doing now is seed planting, right? You're sparking that opportunity with that person that might make them think, actually, I would like a little extra money to go to all the concerts at um, the Kettle House Amphitheater. <laughs> Just kidding. For those of you that don't live in Missoula, you might not get that, but it's this really beautiful amphitheater. We have so many concerts. It's like you like have to have a part-time job to be able to go see everybody that comes, right? Maybe I would like to have a little extra money for whatever hobby, right? Maybe I would like this and this. You are putting, planting that seed and sparking that thought in their mind. Maybe that thought for the first time that something else might be out there for them in their life. And if that scares them the first time that you ask them, they might tell you no. But do keep track because they might follow up with you. You might want to follow up with them. Um, it's a seed planting. In my experience, um, some of the recruiting work that you do now is going to pay off in like three months. 
So you always have to be planting those seeds, okay? They might not join that same month, they might, but sometimes it takes people a little bit to think about it to really spark that joy that you've planted um, and be ready to go. So keep planting those seeds, even if they don't bloom in January, they might bloom in March, and then the ones you plant in March might bloom in June, and then in August, etc. So this is gonna help teach you to do that. We're gonna work on that. If you have questions about the script or what to say, feel free to throw it in the comments. I know lots of us would be able to help. We have recruiting machines on this page. I know for sure, don't wanna name any names, like uh, Brielle and Cheryl Beth and Nicole and Haley. <laughs> but lots of people who can give you tons of advice about building a team and how to ask and what to say. So please feel free to, um, to put that here. We will um, turn this in at the end of the week with our checked off boxes, okay? So um, we'll give you more instructions on that later. For now, just start asking. So anyway, I will talk to you soon. I'm so excited to hear how this goes for you and so excited to hear some of your yeses and your stories. Talk to you soon. Bye.